so yesterday i was talking about uh, to somebody that how one should take decisions in life like how one should take decisions about uh, moving somewhere or doing something in life something big taking the decisions or if there is a situation in life how can one come up with the solution that is that works and that helps them take a take some, get some growth in life so we were talking just in general about that and i often meet people those who are really confused they have a conflict going on within themselves that should i do this or should i do that or most of the time that conflict is between their heart and between their mind so i thought it's a good topic to elaborate on and you know often times we do not understand that there are two different types of <clears throat> systems that we have everybody has those two systems one is that in life when you are looking for solutions and when you are looking for uh, decision making then at that time one thing is mind so the solution comes from or the decision comes from the mind when a solution is coming from the mind at that time it has all logical rational explanation to it it'll sound very good too good to be true that kind of decision making mind will come up mind will uh, come up with explain not only just the logical and ras- rational explanations it will have a proper justification based on that so when mind comes up with a solution mind is a very limited faculty in you and it's a very limited aspect of you so when mind comes up with a solution mind wants to see and live in certainty so it'll look for anything that is certain and if it can see only one step ahead of a, the life situation or the decision making that you are doing or a goal or a desire that you are uh, trying to create if it can see only one step ahead then it will ask you to slow down it will keep on suggesting you to slow down the thoughts that you will have when mind is giving you a solution the thoughts will be aligned to that all the thoughts that you will have will be in justification of what the mind is suggesting and that way everything will be aligned and synced to your mind but mind doesn't know two things one is anything that is unknown and anything that is uncertain so mind creates the decisions and solutions and situations in life which are based on fear fear of unknown fear of uncertainty now when mind gives you gives you a solution then there's no intensity in it no no intensity you will realize that so when there is no int- intensity in your decision making or your the solution that you are coming up with then you may not go very far so mind is more like a brake you know in the car when you're driving you have you mind will keep on trying to put you on brake put you on brake you know you need to just slow down mind will try to slow you down in everything that you do because it works on fear and the only two fears that mind can think of is the greatest fears and mightiest fear for mind are unknown fear of unknown and fear of uncertainty and because your emotions when mind takes decisions and mind provides solution to you there's no emotional emotions in that there are no there's no emotional involvement in those thoughts because everything is very much logical and rational it has a proper justification so there's no emotion there may not be any emotion involved in it at all so there's no intensity mind is missing the intensity there so you may reach your goal you may work on that so do, those solutions but you may not go very far that is one kind of solution or one kind of system that you have inside you another thing is trying to find out what your heart wants the solution the decision making in life or the desires and goals in life when they come from your heart 
heart is a bigger masterpiece bigger mightier than mind that is that kind of a faculty so what will happen is when heart will give you a solution heart very well is all the time ready with unknown factors of life and it has no absolutely no fear of you know uncertainty those two things will be there and even if fear of unknown and uncertainty is there in the heart in the solutions that heart is providing you even if it is there the intensity of emotions is mixed up so much in that solution that you will be able to overcome all that it's not that people do not have fear or fear of unknown uncertainty or they you know do not want to take risk it's all about when can we actually overcome all those fears and when can we actually overcome fear of uncertainty fear of unknown so that happens when emotional intensity is there and emotional intensity is there only in your heart based decisions now at max suppose you took that risk that your heart came up with mostly the solutions that heart will provide they do not have a logical and r- rational explanation for a short term but 5 years down the lane 10 years down the lane when you will look back you will see that you did the right thing that's what heart does heart life is eternal life is not lived for your next uh, one month or two months or year down the lane or two years down the lane life doesn't work that way life is eternal and it has a very big picture which mind cannot see mind is trying to stop you oh don't do this because we don't know what will happen that kind of thing will come out from mind and heart will say let's just do this and see what happens doesn't matter if you don't know of everything or if you don't do not have uh, logical and rational explanations of everything it's fine let's just do this and emotional intensity is there to get it done to do that and yes fears are there even in the heart based you know, decisions and solutions but with your emotional intensity you are able to overcome those fears and that is what is important all the research that has happened in this world all the discoveries inventions and all the big decisions to create something to design something to come up with something anything like that happens only through your heart it cannot be done by mind say for example a painter is trying to paint something van gogh is trying to paint mona lisa okay or something else then if you try to paint with your mind then mind will say okay let's first see what sells in this market okay what is the demand then how much is the supply and then what kind of paints are how can i produ- uh, you know uh, reduce the cost of production so mind i am not saying mind is totally useless but a life should not be lived with mind life should be lived with heart otherwise you won't be able to grow or evolve in life at all mind will always try to put a break on it so when you are creating a painting and if it is from your mind then you will look all aspects of demand supply reducing the cost of production what sells what the buyers want or what anybody would try to look at want to look at what people want you'll create a painting according to that then never ever you will come up with a painting <laughs> proper painting which we can call a painting you cannot come up with that yes if there is already an existing painting then you can try to reprint it or do something like that and commercialize it commercialization can happen only when there is a mind but otherwise nothing can truly be created when your heart is there in your painting then all you will look at it is blank canvas your paints and what is there in your heart real painter never even knows what is he going to paint it paint until it is done so things have to be done through heart and not through mind people usually get so much involved in their mind and using the decisions and solutions and go creating the goals only through mind that they forget to live 
from their heart then what happens is most of the time initially in their life they are in a conflict they'll always say my heart says this but you know this is too risky i don't know what will happen so you know let me just do what my mind is saying so mind will when when every time why mind provides you something very secure and mind can only see one step ahead so it will put a break and so you will be always be secure and always be in your comfort zone so but there will be unhappiness inside over the period of time of 10 years 20 years 30 years from now yes a person may become highly successful a person may become highly you know all your goals may be achieved and the solutions that you implemented in your life using your mind may seem to be working but you within yourself will grow up as a very unhappy person decisions from mind may seem logical rational and have a short sightedness to them but decisions from heart in long term creates happiness even if life in the material terms life may seem like a failure but still there will be a happy you, nobody wants to die unhappy imagine people dying on their lying on their deathbed and thinking having all the regrets in life that they couldn't do this couldn't take this risk they should have done that they should have done that but they never listen to their heart they were always playing there and they will die with so many regrets and with fee, still those who have lived the life from their mind they at the end of their life again they will have lots of fears because death is unknown too you don't know what happens after death you don't know where you will go what will happen to the body to the family to um, everybody around you and all that so death is a fear fear of unknown so if you live your life using mind which is which means you are living in the fear of unknown fear of uncertainty then those fears will still be there with you in your deathbed and suddenly you are not going to at that time think from your heart and say okay today i am going to die in such a good thing in few days after few days i won't be here but it's a good thing i lived a very good life you won't be able to say that you will still be fear very fearful and that fear you will carry even in your after life so what is the point of it what is the use of it so heart is very comfortable with the unknown heart is very comfortable with insecurities and uncertainties because it knows that you know even though in short term this may not look like this may not make sense and this may not look like very logical or rational thing to do but i know somewhere deep down i know that in long term this is what i want and this is what will make me happy so i will definitely make something out of it failures in life at times teach us very good lessons so if nothing else works out then at least you will be happy you learned a lesson so that is what heart does if imagine in you when you were a toddler or a year less than a year old when you were few months old at that time the first thing that a child does out of so many other things is start walking if at that time you had an over functional mind like you have now then imagine you could you wouldn't be able to walk why because when a child starts walking he has so many unknowns and he has so much uncertainty and insecurity within he doesn't know that whether his bones or his legs and his joints are ready or not whether his body is ready or not he doesn't know that child doesn't know if mom is going to mom or dad is going to hold the her finger his finger and uh, for how long they'll hold their hand the hand and when are they going to just say okay you walk one step two step three step and now i leave you alone and if he's going to fell then is he going to fell into the ditch or will will there be a floor beneath his feet or what will be there so a lot of uncertainties and lot of unknowns are there when a child starts to walk but he is walking from his heart that solution to stand up one day and walk is coming from his heart that is the only reason he's not he is a although every child has fear of walking when you 
see a child and they will stand up first thing that they will do is look around that can they walk how many things are in front of them and it's a wonderful experience to watch a child see walking first time but they wouldn't be able to do it if they had that kind of over functional mind they are walking from their heart so mind is kind of a thing that if you give a ferrari to a mind then mind will say oh let's drive it slower than the bicycle <laughs> why even the wind should not scratch my ferrari and you will think about all the rules and regulations and this and that and you know what how can you keep your car so much safe even while driving then you won't be driving ferrari there is no use of driving ferrari then right do you have to drive it slower than bicycle and if you are worried so much then you cannot drive ferrari but when you give your heart a ferrari heart will say buckle up sit down let's put the <laughs> put the foot on the pedal and let's drive and then you might be in race track or something and you may drive at it stop speed without thinking about what will happen to the car what will happen to your uh, body if you get into an accident or if it's a race track then you can't see at the top speed even the race track is not so much visible this everything is going very fast so your reflexes and your decision making at that time has to be very fast and you have to be very alert while doing that but you'll have the thrill of your life you will be actually you live that experience so the moments that we live from our heart are the only moments we live anything that we do from mind is kind of half alive half dead kind of a situation that life is half alive and half dead no you there's no fun in living life like that nothing in this world would have been done if it was for the mind if people were living only from their mind and people were taking all decisions and solutions only from their mind so heart may seem like something ridiculous or gives pain only but in long term you will learn lessons you will move you will learn to take risks heart is very comfortable you will be able to overcome all your fears and anything that you have all the risks and everything that you have inside yourself because the emotional intensity is there emotional intensity is not there now most of the time people get so busy using their 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 mind that they forget to listen to the heart and they even forget to ask what is deep down there in their heart people are deluded people don't know which way to go that kind of indecisiveness only happens when mind is not coming up with any, any with any logical or rational justification of it and on top of it you're not asking yourself you're not trying to find out what is there in your heart what is it that you want because what is it that you want and answers to these questions will come from your heart not from your mind if they come from your if they are coming from your mind then the first first thing to notice is that it will have a very logical and rational explanation if they are coming from your heart it may not have any logical or rational explanation to it whatsoever so people those who are living from their mind yeah they'll keep on going on a straight line there's no ups no downs and they won't they stop evolving at all they're not evolving at all mind is a something mind is a very limited faculty given to you so they are not evolving they are not growing they are not maturing yes body may mature but life is being lived from the mind not from the heart so a process of evolution stops only until you unless and until you try something take risks about something you are not going to grow up there is no point in living that kind of a half alive half dead and you know very lukewarm kind of life which has no intensity you're not inspiring anybody else around you your life is not an example you have no purpose of all the time you're living from your mind so there is no purpose in living no purpose no meaning to your life and some day if not today then in some day in future you will definitely ask a question did you know i lived a useless life what is the meaning of this life what is the purpose of this life we ask these questions so i would say don't give ferrari to your mind you have ferrari give it to your heart 
live life from your heart ask yourself what is there in your heart what is it that you truly want to achieve yes there may be unknowns and uncertainties but trust me when heart, life is lived from your heart and intuitions are there and everything is there you will find a way and over the period of time you will be a really happy person you would not you will not accumulate ton of bitterness in you that usually people accumulate and then though that bitterness actually mm, manifests into your body in the form of diseases like diabetes or hypertension or stress related diseases insomnia and psycho all kinds of psychosomatic diseases that bitterness which comes because you were not able to live from your heart and you were always using your mind and then you got habitual of using your mind to live your life that creates bitterness in you that creates unhappiness within and some day it manifests in body makes you unhealthy from your in your being nobody wants to live that kind of a life so well being is connected to the life that you are living from your heart oh.